Sophie Turner and Jessica Creston say they won't work in states with strict abortion bans. Are they going to work in Egypt? Uh, Chelsea Creston and Sophie Turner are speaking out about their decision to join a growing number of performers who say they refuse to work in states with restrictive abortion laws. The X-Men Dark Phoenix actress told the Sky News Wednesday that their names are among the signatures on a March letter stating a proposition to Georgia's heartbeat bill, abortion ban. The letters going around that I've signed uh, saying I'm not going to work in any state that declines the right for women for the LBGT movement community for anyone, Christina42 told the network. Darling, you're 42, you probably can't be that picky about what jobs you take. I'm not going to work in a state that criminalizes, she added. Okay, what about other places like Indonesia or, for example, Egypt or any of these sort of other countries where not only are LBGT people do not have the right to get married, but they also get thrown off roofs? Are you going to care about that? Former Game of Thrones star Turner said she had yet to inform her agent that she signed the same letter as Christian. They're going to be like, what? You can't work in these states? 23-year-old Turner said, yeah, I can't work in those states. Okay, we'll get someone else who can. Several big-name entertainers, including Alec, uh, Alec Bowen, uh, Maya Farrow, and Ben Stiller, also attached their names to the letter spearheaded by the actress Alyssa Lana and addressed to Georgia Governor Brian Kemp. The message said that the celebrities would push film production crews to abandon the state if the abortion became law. Georgia's controversial legislation, which Kemp signed in early May, bans the abortion after the fetal's heartbeat is detected, which can occur as early as six weeks into a pregnancy. The law is supposed to go into effect on the 1st of January. Kemp had mocked the reaction from Hollywood, saying earlier this month that Republicans value and protect the innocent life, even though it makes C-list celebrities squawk. Other major film studios and other media companies have also threatened to boycott the state over the abortion law. Netflix chief content officer Ted Soros said that if the legalization should go into effect, the company would rethink the entire investment in Georgia. Walt Disney CEO Bob Iger has also said it would be very difficult for companies to make films in Georgia if the abortion restriction becomes law. Now, um, obviously, guys, if you have already been watching the show for today, you're going to know we are going to circle back to this article here because I'm actually recording this and I'm going to upload it. Disney Netflix threatens Georgia boycott but continues to work in country where abortion is illegal. Film industry giants Disney and Netflix are threatening to boycott the state of Georgia over its new heartbeat abortion law, but have continued and even stepped up filming in countries which abortion is entirely legal or highly restricted. Variety reports Monday Netflix intends to increase the production in Egypt where abortion is illegal, with Paranormal directed by Arab Selma and based on the horror books by late Egyptian author Amit Khalif Tawaf, I'm getting that name wrong, we're excited to continue our investment in the Middle East productions by adapting the highly acclaimed paranormal novels into thrilling new series, said Keller Lippert, Vice President of Netflix of International Origins. But I thought you cared about the abortion rights. Right? Isn't that what they say? They're going on about how much they care. You know, we have celebrities threatening to to not work in the states, and and Netflix and Disney saying that they, you know that they might have to stop production in these states that support the the abortion ban. But mind you, here they are working in Egypt, which, by the way, has strict abortion laws. It's like it's one rule for me, one rule for thee. It's like they don't really care about these laws per se. Or maybe the identity politics is just too strong and we can't dare not film in Egypt because we might be seen as racist. 
which is probably what it's more likely to be. Variety reports Paranormal is the third Middle Eastern Netflix original series. It follows Jin, a teenage drama with supernatural themes, blah, 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 blah. Despite filming in these nations, however, on Tuesday's Ted Sarath, Netflix chief content officer told Variety the company has many women working on productions in Georgia's who rights will be severely restricted by Georgia's law that prohibits abortion once a fatal heartbeat is detected. Let alone, for example, getting arrested in other countries like Egypt, where it's just plain illegal to get an abortion in any form. We're still going to go and work in those countries, but God forbid we go and work in Georgia. Is, is that what you're saying to me, Netflix? Hmm. So I said Netflix will continue working with the ACLU to fight the new law. Given the legislation has not been implemented, we continue fighting to film there, while we also give supporting partners to artists who choose not to, he added, should it ever come into effect, we'll rethink our entire investment in Georgia. What about Egypt? What about any other... Muslim country. Where was Aladdin filmed? L let me let me just double check. Hmm. Aladdin. A. Film location. Let's see where Aladdin was filmed. Right. Filming and production for Aladdin. Alright, filming locations was in Jordan. Oh my god. I wonder what Jordan's abortion laws are like. Do, let, let's... That, there's the locations there. Uh, Jordan... Jordan abortion rights. A woman who performs an abortion on herself in order to save her honor shall benefit from a mitigation of punishment. Whoever intentionally performs an abortion on a woman without her consent shall be punished for up to 10 years, which is obviously fair. Um, whoever by any means performs an abortion on a woman with her consult shall be punished for one to three years imprisonment. But don't worry, we're still going to go and film in frigging Jordan. Here it is here. Filming location, Jordan, right? Here it is here. A woman who thought, uh, through any means performs an abortion on herself or consents to another person applying such shall be punished. So not only are they performing an abortion, not only are they punishing the abortion doctor, they're actually punishing the woman for doing it. But don't worry, we're going to go and film a billion dollar box office over there while virtually signalling about frigging Georgia. Oh no, we can't go and film in Georgia because of the abortion laws. Hold my beer, we're going to go over to Jordan and film instead. Is, is that what you're telling me? Holy shit! The... the Self-awareness level, please. F freaking hypocrites. It's non -biased. They don't care about the abortion laws. They care about the local politics and the optics. Exactly right. They do not give a shit about women's rights. Anybody that thinks these companies do, they don't. 
Companies like these who make movies for children backing killing those children. Yeah. How many, how many people, how many children die in these Jordan sort of like style countries? But don't worry, we're going to go and film a kids TV series there. You know, don't worry, we're not going to go to America where we could get, yeah, of, of course, the, the reason why they're filming in Jordan is because it's cheaper. Right? That, that's what it's all about. It's about the bottom line. At the end of the day, we can still go and film in Jordan. No one will care about the abortion laws over there. But don't worry, we can still save a whole bucket load of money. Like, uh, we, we talked about this earlier in the live stream. I think it was Satellite that said that I would much rather my company's greedy than virtual signaling. And I agree to a certain point. But to me, this is sort of them being a bunch of hypocrites. It really is. And it seems to have been the whole message for the day because we also talked about Julian and everything like that. But at the end of the day, and when I say that, I mean other YouTubers not covering it. Um, but at the end of the day, yeah, it's them basically going through and worried about the PR backlash for filming in Jordan because of some celebrities got their knickers into a knot because of abortion laws. Mind you, they still won't have a problem filming in Jordan. But, you know, kind of makes you wonder if Will Smith is going to sign this, sign this, this, uh, this anti-work order for Georgia. After just coming back from filming in Jordan. Does make you wonder, doesn't it? Yeah, TL, uh, TJ, man, I don't know if Amazon Prime is any different. He says, I'm boycotting Netflix and switching to Amazon Prime. I don't know if there's any benefit, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, but I would too. She's pretty hot. Um, but at the end of the day, yeah. There's actually a really good um, show coming up on Amazon Prime. Um, it's um, Amazon Prime has this show. It's, um, it's about a, a demon and a angel. Um, they lose the Antichrist. It's called Bad Omens, actually. I want to check it out. It's got um, Matt, uh, Matt Smith, I think it was, from Doctor Who. He plays the devil. Um, looks really good. But she's so damn hot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sophie Turner's definitely hot. But look, at the end of the day, look, regardless of how hot she is, she needs to, you know, get in the kitchen and, yeah, make me some dinner. Yeah, this is why you don't give women the right to vote sometimes. Anyway, on that note, <laughs> is that enough for an alt-right hit piece yet? But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I, I, I'm so sick of these celebrities voicing an opinion on something. And and then being a bunch of hypocrites about it. They're just, they've been sheep. They've been told what to say, when to say. And they don't go through and think for themselves. Maybe I'll tweet at Sophie. I'll, I'll tweet at her, Alec Ball, and then all these guys. And I'll ask them point blank. Are you going to boycott areas like Jordan as well? And, and we'll just see the, the deafness of their replies. Because I tell you now, they won't respond. But anyway, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll keep you guys up to date on Tuesday with the, how that one goes. But, um, but guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below.